The Myth of Sucking Out Poison The myth of sucking out poison after a snake bite is indeed one of the most common misconceptions. According to popular belief, if a person is bitten by a snake, one might try to save them by sucking the poison out of the wound. However, this is not only ineffective, but can also be dangerous. When attempting to suck out the poison, it can spread through the wound and enter the bloodstream, accelerating its effect. In the case of a snake bite, it is recommended to remain calm, try to immobilize the bitten limb, and seek medical help as soon as possible. Using tourniquets or attempts to suck out the poison can lead to additional injuries and should not be used. Thus, it is important to remember that when bitten by a snake, the most important thing is to remain calm and act quickly, but without panic and unverified first aid methods. The myth of survival on a deserted island. The misconception that one must immediately build a raft or go in search of people on a deserted island can lead to unnecessary risks and reduce the chances of rescue. It is important to understand that in such a situation, the primary task is survival and maintaining health until help arrives. Here are a few key steps to take if you find yourself on a deserted island. Do not panic. Maintaining calm and clarity of thought is critically important for survival. Panic can lead to loss of control and reduce chances of rescue. Assess the surrounding environment. Check whether the place where you are is safe, whether there is a risk of flooding or wild animals. Find a source of clean drinking water. Water is vital, and without it, a person can only survive a few days. Look for natural sources or devise a way to collect rainwater. Build a shelter. Protection from the elements and predatory animals will help you maintain health and strength while waiting for rescue. Signal for help. Create noticeable signs or signals that can attract the attention of rescuers. Stay in place. The chances of being found are higher if you do not move from place to place. These recommendations are based on general survival principles and can significantly increase the likelihood of your rescue. It is important to remember that each situation is unique and decisions must be made based on specific circumstances and available resources. The myth about bears. The myth about bears and their abilities is indeed one of the widespread misconceptions. There are several popular myths about bears that do not correspond to reality. The myth of standing on hind legs. Many believe that bears stand on their hind legs only to attack. In fact, they do this to get a better view or hear something in the distance. The myth about chocolate. In popular culture, there is a notion that bears love chocolate. However, this is nothing more than a stereotype. The myth about hibernation. Many believe that all bears necessarily hibernate in winter. In reality, not all bear species hibernate. And for those who do, hibernation can vary greatly. Bears are amazing creatures with diverse abilities and habits. They can walk down slopes and climb trees, which refutes another common misconception. Bears also have excellent olfaction and hearing, which allows them to navigate in space and find food. Interesting facts about bears emphasize the importance of checking information, and the need to avoid stereotypes and myths that can be misleading. Understanding the real behavior and characteristics of bears not only helps in studying nature, but also in ensuring the safety of people who may encounter these animals in the wild. The myth of safe food in the wild. The misconception about the safety of food in the wild is based on the assumption that if animals or birds eat certain plants or fruits, then they are safe for humans as well. However, this is not the case, and following this myth can be dangerous. Animals and birds often consume foods that can be poisonous or harmful to humans. Their bodies are adapted to certain types of food that may contain toxins incompatible with the human body. For example, some types of berries that are safe for birds can cause serious poisoning in humans. Moreover, water from natural sources, such as lakes and puddles, can be contaminated and contain bacteria and other pathogens. Therefore, even if you see animals drinking from such a source, it does not mean that the water is safe for you. It is always necessary to purify water 
before consumption, for example, by boiling or using a filter. This misconception serves as a reminder that in the wild, one must be especially careful with what one eats and drinks, and always check the safety information of food and water. The myth of the falling elevator, the myth that if you jump at the last moment before hitting the ground in the falling elevator, you can soften the impact and survive, is one of the most persistent misconceptions. However, experts refute this idea. Firstly, a person is not capable of jumping with the speed needed to compensate for the falling speed of the elevator. Secondly, even if such speed were achievable, it would be practically impossible to know the exact moment of landing. Elevators are designed with multiple safety systems. The elevator cabin is held by several metal cables, each of which can support a weight significantly exceeding the weight of a car. Even if all the cables were to break, there's a speed limiter in the elevator that activates the brakes if the elevator starts moving too fast. Thus, in the event of an elevator fall, it is best to hang onto the handrails, if available, to distribute the impact force throughout the body. However, it is worth remembering that elevator falls are extremely rare, thanks to strict safety standards and regular maintenance. Therefore, despite the popularity of the myth, the likelihood of such a situation is extremely low. The Myth of Newton's Apple The story of the apple that fell on Isaac Newton's head and inspired him to discover the law of universal gravitation is one of the most famous scientific myths. In fact, according to Stukeley's manuscript, Newton was indeed sitting under an apple tree when he began to think about gravity. But the apple did not fall on his head, but nearby. This event merely prompted him to think, which was then nurtured for many more years. There are several versions of this story. According to one, the apple simply fell next to the scientist as he sat under the tree, which made him think about the reasons for objects falling to the ground. According to another version, the apple did indeed fall on Newton's head, leading to his epiphany. However, most historians agree that the apple did not fall on the scientist's head but was just one of many observations that helped him formulate the theory of gravity. This myth serves as a wonderful example of how simple observations can lead to important discoveries and revolutions in the scientific world. It also reminds us that great ideas often take time to develop and do not come instantly. The myth of Columbus. The misconception that Christopher Columbus wanted to prove that the earth is round is one of the most enduring myths. In fact, even in Columbus's time, scientists knew that the Earth was spherical. This myth arose in the 19th century and was popularized by writers such as Washington Irving, who described Columbus as a hero who challenged the commonly accepted views of his time. Columbus indeed sought to find a new route to Asia by sailing west, but his motivation was to open a shorter and more profitable trade route, not to prove the Earth's shape. He mistakenly believed that the Earth was smaller than it actually is, and that Asia was much closer if one sailed west from Europe. Columbus was also not the first European to reach the shores of America. Centuries before his voyages, Vikings led by Leif Erikson had already visited the territory of modern-day Canada. However, Columbus's expeditions were of great significance, as they led to the beginning of active colonization of the New World by Europeans and subsequent geographical discoveries. Thus, the myth of Columbus and the round earth is an example of how historical figures and events can be distorted and romanticized over time, emphasizing the importance of a critical approach to historical sources. The myth of the invention of the telephone. The myth that Alexander Graham Bell is the inventor of the telephone is indeed one of the most widespread misconceptions. In reality, the history of the invention of the telephone is much more complex and interesting. Most people believe that Alexander Bell invented the telephone, who received a patent for the first telephone in 1876. However, there is another claimant to the title of the inventor of the telephone, Antonio Mucci. Mucci worked on a device that could transmit voice over a distance as early as the 1850s, and in 1871, he filed a preliminary patent application. Unfortunately, 
due to a lack of funds, he was unable to fully patent his invention, and his right to the invention of the telephone was recognized posthumously on June 11, 2002, in U.S. Congress Resolution No. 269. Alicia Gray also filed a patent application for the telephone on the same day as Bell, but a few hours later. This led to a lengthy legal battle between Bell and Gray, which ultimately ended in Bell's favor, the myth of left-handers and right-handers. The misconception about left-handers and right-handers lies in the fact that many people believe in stereotypes related to which hand is dominant. For example, there is an opinion that left-handers are more creative and original, while right-handers are more analytical and organized. However, scientific research does not confirm these claims as a strict rule. It is important to understand that although there may be some tendencies or statistical differences between left-handers and right-handers, they are not absolute and should not be used to create stereotypes or assumptions about a person's personality traits. Each person is unique, and their abilities and characteristics are shaped by a multitude of factors, including but not limited to the dominance of one hand. Yes, yes, yes. I'm the guy from the video. Thank you very much for watching. I will be glad if you like and leave a comment on what topic you want to talk about in the next video. Also, don't forget to watch our other videos. See you again!